Hello everybody and welcome back to another Fortnite creative video. In today's video, I'll be making a tutorial on how you can place traps on walls and platforms that make them transparent or invisible. By transparent or invisible, I mean you can walk through them or fall through them. Alright, I've already made a video on this, but I decided to make an updated version of it because since it's Fortnite Chapter 2 now, there's been a few changes that have been implemented. So here is the first change. The first change being that you actually can't apply traps on walls anymore. This is the piece that you should have been using to apply traps and what would would have happened. You can look at my previous video that is linked in the description to see how it would look. But you'd place it on here and it would look like just a normal trap like as if I'd place it there. But you could actually walk through this empty space here so that was really useful. But unfortunately you cannot do that anymore. The good news is though, that it still works on floor pieces, okay? So as an example, I just fell through this floor. Yeah, and you could barely even tell that it was there. I mean, there's a bit of a gap here, but you could probably choose a floor piece that makes it less obvious, you know? So I'm just gonna show you all the different traps that it works with. It works with all the different traps here, all right? So you saw Chiller, it works with checkpoints as well as any other plate related to that, like the item spawner and the uh, player start thing. And then it works with the poison dart traps. It works with just straight ice. It works with the speed boosts, but not as well as you'd think. Like, I'll hit it and it'll shoot me to the side, and then it'll kind of just do that, and the gap is actually right, right ahead of me. But you can't really tell. There's a way for it to work, like, if you just run onto it, I think. Yeah, and now I can walk backwards and fall through. So, it works. Um, it works with... Um, vehicle traps too so get on the vehicle and I just fell right through the ground now you can also see that there's a bouncer here it works with bouncers but it also doesn't work with bouncers it works with bouncers I mean because you can place it on the floor piece that I'm about to show you but it also doesn't work because if you try and fall through the gap it just bounces you back up and now you might be thinking that it could be kind of like a one-way thing you go in from the bottom and then it launches you up that's also not the case because the bouncer's right above me. I'm jumping up, I'm trying- Okay, that's because I was flying. But I'm, I'm jumping up and I'm just hitting my head. Okay, I did it again. But you can see that it's just, it's solid. It works, but it really doesn't work. So there's kind of no point of having a bouncer there. Now, one of the last traps that it works on is just the regular generic damage trap. What you would have to do is that you'd bait it and then you could just fall down into the trap and it would work perfectly now in order to get the floor piece that you need you need to open your creative section and go to galleries and select the parkour section then you just need to take obstacle course floor gallery then come here it's in my inventory throw it down and you're going to want to take any of these triangular pieces here all right these right angle triangle floor pieces there's four of them you want to take any single one of those and I'll prove to you that it works I'll just copy it go to place it right here then I'll just come to devices take a damage trap and place it right on top and then you can't really fall through this one but if I were to build up like this and then copy the floor piece here add the damage trap here and then I could fall and you see that it works perfectly fine now, if you just want to try it for yourself, the wall version of this that used to work, you'd have to come to the galleries, the parkour section as well, but you just have to choose the obstacle course wall gallery this time. And I'll throw it down again just for kicks. Off to the side a little bit here. And you'd have to use this arch or this arch right here. So one of these two. But now, I'll just copy it again and try and place a damage trap and it won't let me at all. So it's kind of disappointing. Really that's the tutorial. I hope it helps. It kind of sucks that you can't use it on walls anymore, but at least you can still use it on floors, you know? So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and 
stay tuned because I'll be coming out with a whole bunch of new creative mode tutorials that'll help you with building your maps. So, I hope to see you all in the very next video. See ya!